Hey guys, and today I'm super excited because I'd like to do an unboxing with you together with something that I was waiting for for quite some time. I was selecting a different hand, um, handheld consoles because I wanted to play some, some older games and newer games and I'm super excited because it finally arrived. GPD Win 3, a full-blown Windows 10 i7 processor handheld console. Let's go. So why did I select this one and why I was waiting for this particular one? So I've looked at the market and I've looked at different consoles, handheld consoles that I wanted to get. And my goal for that was first to get something, something really new, something really fresh. And that's how I like to pick things up because I like technology. I like the latest and the greatest. And on the market, off of a, a lot of different handheld consoles, there was only one um, winner at that time and it was Nintendo Switch. Amazing console, a lot of great games, really good feedback, and just overall well well designed console. However, it was an older console, right? So the specs were pretty old, and I was looking for something uh, that uh, something uh, better, newer, and that has more capabilities. I wanted to play older games as well as new ones, and to run emulators and want even a Nintendo Switch emulator, I was looking for something more versatile, and that's where GPD Win 3 came along. Uh, they just released it. In June, they're gonna start uh, producing it and massively shipping it out to everybody, but I've got a pre-beta version and uh, already super excited to look into that. So the version that I have runs Windows 10, full blown and operating system, which is great, and it has an i7 processor and uh, the latest and the greatest. So you have uh, four cores and eight threads. You know, that's, that's, gonna, that's gonna be enough for a majority of the games. You have 16 gigabyte of, of RAM, which is great. And uh, compared to all, all other competitors, it's really, really good. It also has one terabyte of memory, so you can load up a bunch of games. And it also has an SSD slot, which is great because you can uh, add, add stuff on and uh, have more memory. Um, what else? So the screen is 720p, which is not great, but for that size of a console, it's, it's enough. It's more than enough. It's a small uh, handheld console and it meant to be, um, it meant to be small and uh, it should be enough. For, for the reason why I really like that was because I really can install any games that run on Windows and I can also add up emulators and run older games uh, such as Sega games and Panasonic 3DO games and PlayStation games. Super excited about that. So not to mention it has, uh, you know, latest Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Thunderbolt 4 port, so you can connect it to actually external video, uh, video cards and connect external joysticks. Um, and all the, all the pad looks, looks pretty nice. So let's uh, go ahead and unbox it and see what's inside. Alrighty guys, let's see what's inside. So we've got this, uh, just a standard package, it says GPD Win 3, nothing too fancy. Gamepad Digital. Let's open it up. And quality innovation, extreme service. Well, I guess that's, that's what it is. Okay, so we when we open it up, just in, in inside, so we have the console itself. It has a protective screen. I think that's a protective screen. Yep, it's a protective screen for for the actual console, so you can. Uh, Put it on and make sure you don't scratch it. And let's just put it here, put it aside. And we have the console itself. Let's pull it out, see what it is. Let's take that out here. There you go. This is GPD Win 3. Pretty amazingly and solidly built. Weights about one pound. 500 grams, and uh, let's see what we've got. We've got analog buttons up here, a USB port, a power button, and uh, two buttons here. This is a touch ID or this is a fingerprint scanner, which helps a lot when you need to enter a lot of passwords. And remember, this is a Windows 10 machine. So the analog triggers here, buttons, X, Y, B, and A, a Thunderbolt 4, uh, an SSD port and a switcher between a gamepad and a mouse and some pretty, or I guess this is a microphone, 
some cooling stuff. That, uh, you can see a cooler here and a couple of buttons right in the back. So let's see what else we have in the box. You've got your screen protector accessories. So I assume this is what you would use to set it up. Alrighty, so we have that instruction here. You know, not a big fan of instructions, so I'm just gonna toss it there. And let's see, there's a, supposed to be a charger box. There's a little box here. Let's open that up. So we have a USB to USB, USB-C to USB-C cable. Here we go, how big is it? Pretty big. Alrighty, so this is it. This is what we all have inside. And let's take a closer look and see if this thing powers on. Alrighty guys, it's time to turn it on. And we turn it on by just pressing this button at the top and it turns on. We see that blue light comes on here, GPD, and it starts to load up. As I said, it's a general Windows 10 machine. So basically you have a very small laptop here, a very capable. And uh, while it's loading up, let me show you the main feature, a keyboard, a keyboard, a full blown keyboard. Not that you're gonna use it that much during the gaming process. However, for, you know, remember it's a Windows machine and for that you do need a keyboard. Okay, so it wants us to select a language and we're just basically going through a standard Windows 10 Hi there. setup I'm process. I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. This is Cortana. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. All right guys, so we've got the Windows 10 set up ready and get started. So we're gonna do maybe later here. So you basically have a regular Windows 10 set up here, which is great. You can do a lot of different things and not just play games, but also um, basically use that, use that as a regular laptop. As I said, it's pretty light and I like it. Really good quality of the screen. And you even hear some sounds. All right guys, so as you can see, this one has um, a GPD assistant and GPD assistant basically gives you an option to install Steam. Really easy and really fast. We're not gonna run Steam just yet and Epic game. So we're gonna install that too. Beautiful so far guys, it looks amazing and works really good. And just the feel is pretty nice. I don't know how it's gonna feel with playing games, but let's see how it, uh, how it all works. So the Steam is installed and I can basically select any game from the list and get it going. Let's uh, set something up and uh, see how it goes, see how it works. I always wanted to do the Mafia Remastered, see if they have it. This definitive edition. Probably gonna take some time to install, but uh, let's find something uh, more light heavy. Alrighty guys, so I've got Mafia going and... Uh, let's see. The graphic is pretty good. So we're gonna take the Giuliani Bridge. And I've played this game inside and out. I know a lot and almost everything there is to know about the city, so it's easy for me. So far, guys, it's an amazing graphics. Everything is very responsive and uh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Well, you can play uh, all the new games, plus you can run old games too. Yeah, 
Okay guys, another reason why I've picked this console is you can literally run a lot of different games. And uh, for somebody that uh, uses Nintendo Switch a lot, you can recognize this. And uh, see if I can get past this and see the, the controls. And I still need to set up the controls. I was just trying to launch this game, which I think I successfully did. At least I hope so. There you have it. That was GPD Win 3. I'm gonna use it for quite some time. I'm taking it to trail and travel with me. We'll see how uh, how I can use it and how versatile it is. But uh, my hopes are really, really high. So far, it looks very promising, and I cannot wait to test it out on the field. Leave in the comments below what you like about the console. If you like those videos, if you like me to do more reviews of the tech that I use, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.